takes a thin piece of milled aluminium from his coat pocket and pulls it open. Sounds like a sword being unsheathed. A small lens appears. Some sort of camera. Shit, Kuno! What the fuck is that? An instant color camera. He produces two metal capped ampules. Clicks them into place on the side of the apparatus. A thin slot. Chancer. Don't want to waste one. Peering into it, the lens needs adjusting. Then, ooh. Followed by the breaking of a small ampoule of glass. You see streams of color pour onto the thick, glossy piece of paper rolling out. In case we need it. The shapes of paper letting it dry in the cold wind. On it, a color perfect copy of the dead man's tattooed chest. Yes, it is pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. There is only one ampoule left. Use it. Do we need this one? It contains insight to the victim's person. By his build, I'd say this was a man of physical violence. The story he wanted his body to tell was important to him. It is his letter to us. Someone should decipher it. We'll need to show it around. Sure, just don't lose it. And see the piece of rolled up paper, it's no larger than a pack of cigarettes. The glossy-eyed corpse looks by, his mouth mute, and his skin as colourful as the chemical rainbow on the photo paper, teeming with opportunistic organisms. His eyes are milky white and blind to the world, protruding comically from their sockets. There is no one home, just sub-aquatic terrors there. Dark brown hair grows on his head. His face is ready to explode from the organic processes inside. The death's head grin has passed. What remains is an unrecognizable mess. Let's go. The corpse is dead silent. You have no idea why you just said that. Who is he? He is male, 40 to 50, with an athletic build. The corpse looks right through you as you distance yourself from its stench. Eyes like a shark. As you narrow your eyes, the monster before you blurs into a violent mess of green and pink. This is a trick. You've done it before. Pink is where the blood settled in the first hours post-mortem. You can use it to see if the corpse has been tampered with. Does his position at the time of death match the discoloration? Only the lower extremities are pink with a dash of blue. His fatted hands, thighs, and his neck, just above the noose. The rest of the corpse appears dark green in the cold spring air. I see. His neck too. The lividity goes right up his chin. We have good, well-pronounced discoloration here. The monster comes back into focus, an explosion of color coursing with dark marbled veins. His stomach appears pregnant with something. Black liquid streams down his thigh and onto his boot. So, what do you think? I think he was upright after death. The pool of blood and feces has eaten into the frozen mud below the man's feet. Purge liquid is dripping into it, drop by drop. The victim appears to have contained no more than half a kilogram of digestion at the time of death. The fuck are you saying? <sighs> Talking about shit. Uh, maybe you went to the toilet sometime before death. Maybe. He doesn't really want to dwell on it too long. I think he was upright. Agreed especially on the neck. The belt acted like a tourniquet, keeping the blood in his head. The hypostasis supports the hanging. Can it still be he was moved after death? There's always a chance. We should check for ligament marks on his neck to see if they're in tune with the belt. We'll have to get him down first. Um, he's been up to see the bruises. I do. Most of them are post-mortem. Maybe even all of them. 
The delinquents have made our jobs harder with their little spot. Stop talking in riddles, coin slot. He means you fucked him up good, Tino. Fucked him up brutal like. I can't Mother, catch There is no breath to catch. Only the cadaver filling the air and your nostrils. He slowly rotates before you, decomposing. Are you sure we finished the preliminary examination of the cadaver? We might miss some of these things once he's done. The cadaver slowly twists on the cargo belt, his torso covered in tattoos and in extremities. You're in to a preliminary inspection. Twenty five minutes. I can find out if I've got a home. I guess some freaks will be closed by now. Not closed. Yes. The tear machine stands in the corner. A sign says your bottles clunk into the machine and the money appears with a satisfying G. I'm a richer man now. Did you hear that? Hear that world? A small cabinet on the wall is filled with various medicine bottles. Their logo is the... Um, just ask me if you need anything from St. Batiste. We don't stock prescription meds, but we do have Nosafed, Duramine, Magnesium, and Hypnogamma. Thank you. Um, is this about the questions again? Is, uh, wow, I didn't know you worked for the union, sir. She has seen it before and slips it under the camera. Anything else I can do? No, you don't work for the union. The union works for you. That was easy. Worryingly so. Blow the whole thing on speed and gin right now. Speed and gin. Great combo. Ask some local dealers, maybe. A colourful... Again, I'm obliged to inform you that both alcohol and cigarettes damage your health. Here you go, mister. There it is. A brave little army in your pocket. The first smoke's platoon. Twenty brave souls standing in salute, ready to step into fire for you, sir. You picked the best one. This soldier is fat and succulent. What are you waiting for? Light up. Get a load of this rock and roll cop hair, people. Johnny Thundercop fishes a cheap lighter out of his pants. With a flick of the thumb, there's fire. The lighter's dark green disposable plastic. Safe is off. In your case, the safety is always off. Hey, I'm not smoking here. Change little interest, Please Don't fuck with Frit. Shut up. It's already happening. Uh. Thick, warm smoke gets sucked down into your lungs. Immediately, you feel a warm nostalgia fill your head, body. And so, a nostalgia for yourself, the man you were in your youth. Johnny Thundercop is back, and he's chill as balls. In the bottom right corner of the screen, there's a cigarettes button. Cigarettes gives plus one to intellect skills. Logic, rhetoric. 
Um, we should think about calling it a day, maybe. The nights are still miserably cold this time of year. You should take care of that, then. Let's talk to him anyway. An officer of the RCM shouldn't be sleeping in the street. We'll figure something out. If it damages. Over the two hour mark now. And I had that conversation with the measure head still there. The unpromising race pupil returns. What are those tattoos of yours? Let's go over this. And... Going to know about you plan to supersede the Occidentals with their own race theory. So racecraft is what rich people want us to do while they get all the money. Just something you shock people with, liberal and progressive people. Whatever you want it to be, it's a free association language exercise. Degenerate race theory. Don't know about the rest, but it's clear I should stop drinking the ancient Ilmarian Mind Poison Alwagul. This dump is ready to be superseded by the agro super state. I can serve as a clerk in your administration. Maybe you need a cop. Everyone can see that. It has little to do with the race enigma. Baby, don't be mean. Give him another chance. <laughs> Anything for you, babe. Fascinating. The Revacholian degenerate shows signs of racial self-reflection. How did you accomplish this little feat? Imagine the pine face of the desert pygmy laughing at me, crooked teeth grinning. So it would seem, Thrall Fool. On one hand, this pathetic self therapy has little to do with the great mystery of living organisms, the race enigma. And, of course, you will not be able to free yourself from the yoke of Fool. It is too late. It may be little to stop at this point. But still, if the Revacholian degenerate is capable of critical thought, he may prove a race adversary yet. Was I mistaken to share the esoteric science with him? Jean, baby, you did the heroic thing. That is not possible. The game of Shahmat play against the rule streaks is unwinnable. The days, the weeks, the months will wear you out. The Occidental Aplo group is incapable of long-term lucid thoughts. You will not. You cannot withstand the wasteland of reality. It's super hard, Jean. My mom couldn't do it either. Let's go, officer. Let's go do some work. Play like the hot stuff, Bruta. Lower intestine. The term is metabolic and circulatory system. Okay, but what's the hot fascism, Bruta? Okay, so I've made up my mind about fascism. Many things, but it's mostly about trusting your gut. Who does your gut tell you is the source of River Shots? Quit stalling, Bruiser. We're talking about the weakest, worst, most insane thing. The weak link. Yes, them. But also, wormen. Wormen. Men of wor. You don't like them. They're insane. Their idiocy needs to be scrubbed off this world with rubbing alcohol. Wormen need to go back to the fucking kitchen. That's what fascism boils down to. 
The rest is also important. But the main thing is that women need to know their place. Stomach truth. You're having a stomach truth. Oh my God. Because you've said the hard things that others won't say. The good things. You've said them many times. That shouldn't have sound so bad though. What if we called it something else like uh, traditionalism? You're going to keep your views, right? Keep your views, Brota. For the nation, smart. Best not to mention the women too often. That's why you're the head and I am the stomach. Five more minutes before I can find out whether I've got a house. What if I talk to you for a bit? Yes. Um. To what about me? That's because I'm half Seolite or quarter. Mm -hmm. I don't speak a word of Seolite, and I've never met good. Let's change this. No one around here. A lorry stuck. In. No, do 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 All around enjoying music. All about money, you know. No vibration. Why didn't I get a vibration? You see a heavy steel, the cobalt, old cobalt paint. It leads to a side. The door, the cobalt, old cobalt. It leads to a side. Nope, nothing in here. Someone sat there, though. Can I help you? You got that yes. money, are you? Have you got it? Does that arrangement include you paying me what we already agreed you owe me? I'm losing the stupid money game. Come on, man. After everything I've been through. I understand your predicament as the manager. However, I feel I must remind you that we are here to conduct an important investigation that also affects your business. Forgive me for saying this, but your colleague seems more committed to drinking, and I mean no offense. It's really nothing personal. I just have to protect the interests of this establishment. Good luck trying to use it. Taps his foot against the metal box and stored in the back the of the car. All the locks have an electronic component. They have to be unlocked down here with a master key before your guest key will open the lock. Not until you bring me the money. Okay. I might have something in my motor carriage we can use when you're done here. Oh, Lieutenant. We're done here. I'm not giving you nothing, mate. Lonesome. Long way home. Where is my way home? Here we go. 
Home awaits. Walk past Station 41 and through the market, past the Boogie Street Spearhead, to the other side of the lake, the frozen eye at the center of the district. Then, past the video rental store on the corner. There, at the end of a street lined with pine trees, a small house, no larger than a matchbox. 11 Voyager Road. You no longer live there. Those times are gone. And so are those people. Why did you come here? Why are you still here? And where's the dealer? You have to get back to work. That's all you have now. Well, thank you, pal. Learning cap for perception raised to five. Speed gives all endurance warrant checks unlocked. Learning cap for endurance raised to five. Um, not sure how that works. So I've researched trying to go home. I can't go home. So that sucks. I think for now we've got a lot of things to investigate. It's late at night. Um, and he's invited me to his car. So, um, thanks for watching. I hope you had a lovely time. I hope you have a marvelous time for the rest of the day and I shall wrap it up there and speak to you soon. Ciao for now. Bye.